Nickelodeon has finally spoken up about the troubling controversies involving Drake Bell, shedding light on the murky situation they've been involved in. What did they have to say amidst recent shadows? Drake Bell, known for his childhood stardom, is bravely opening up about a serious matter for the first time, reflecting on the challenges he faced at just 15 years old. He's courageously sharing his story on an upcoming TV series called Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV. Set to air on March 17th and 18th, Nickelodeon responded to revelations about serious incidents involving dialogue coach Brian Peck during Bell's youth, as disclosed by Bell in the documentary. Bell revealed that he was mistreated by Brian Peck, who worked as a dialogue coach on Nickelodeon shows like All That and The Amanda Show. Bell was part of The Amanda Show cast from 1999 to 2002 and later starred in his own Nickelodeon series, Drake and Josh, starting in 2000. Peck faced serious legal trouble in August 23rd. After Drake Bell's disclosure, Nickelodeon issued a public response, expressing dismay and sadness over the trauma Bell endured. They also commended and supported his bravery in coming forward. Visits to Peck's residence were common for young actors at Nickelodeon, including Bell, who viewed Peck, eventually his manager, as a friend. However, Bell's perspective changed drastically after an incident one morning at Peck's house. Bell described waking up on the couch to find Peck standing over him, leaving him frozen and shocked. At just 15 years old, Bell felt trapped in a situation he didn't know how to handle. He kept it a secret to avoid raising questions, unsure of how to escape the discomfort. Nickelodeon has addressed allegations of misconduct on past production sets through a statement. While they can't confirm or deny behaviors from decades ago, the network makes it clear that they take all formal complaints seriously. Their policy involves investigating every complaint to maintain a safe and professional workplace, prioritizing the well-being of employees, past, crew, and especially children. The revelation that Drake Bell faced mistreatment in his early years as a child actor is troubling. It adds a dark shadow to Bell's past, especially considering the controversies he's faced. Recently, Bell, known for his role in the beloved Nickelodeon series Drake and Josh, received a sentence in Cleveland. He was put on two years of probation for child endangerment charges. Bell, then 35, admitted guilt to charges of attempted child endangerment and disseminating harmful material through a Zoom call before his sentencing. He expressed remorse, stating it wasn't his intention to harm the victim. Bell's attorney highlighted the unique challenges Bell faces due to his celebrity status, noting the greater penalty he already faces compared to others. Just a year before this case, in 2020, Bell faced another controversy. He had to refute allegations of verbal and physical abuse made by his ex-girlfriend, Melissa Winnefeld, in a series of TikTok videos. Bell denied these claims through a representative, stating that while their relationship ended poorly, many of Winnefeld's accusations were false. Bell also mentioned to Variety that Lingua Felt had asked him for financial help during a tough time the previous year. He expressed uncertainty about her recent behavior, wondering if it was a misguided attempt for money or attention. Bell asserted he wouldn't let these allegations go unchallenged and was considering legal options. Another peculiar incident involving Bell occurred in April of last year, 2023. Initially, he was reported missing and endangered. The Daytona Beach Police Department released a statement via Facebook, revealing Bell's last known location near Mainland High School driving a 2022 gray BMW before 9 p.m. They asked the public for any information about his whereabouts. Later that day, the police confirmed Bell's safety and contact with law enforcement. Bell addressed the incident on Twitter with humor, understanding Drake's early experiences at Nickelodeon, which likely hint at a larger problem, sheds light on his subsequent behavior. It illustrates the saying, hurt people, hurt people, revealing a troubling reality. Quiet on Set, a documentary series by Maxime Productions and Sony Pictures Television, in collaboration with Business Insider, explores the problematic aspects of popular children's TV shows, created by Dan Schneider in the 1990s and early 2000s. Business Insider's investigation in 2022 revealed a consistent pattern of uncomfortable and odd environments on Schneider's sets. Based on interviews with former child actors and crew members from shows like The Amanda Show, Zoe 101, and Victorious. This expose follows revelations from Jeanette McCurdy, known for her role in iCarly and its spin-off Sam and Cat, about her uncomfortable experiences at Nickelodeon. In her revealing book, Janet McCurdy opened up about her uncomfortable experiences while working at Nickelodeon. She described a powerful person, known only as the creator, who controlled her and treated her badly emotionally. McCurdy shared how this person pressured her to drink alcohol, yelled at her during a kissing scene with another actor, and insisted on bikinis for wardrobe fittings. In the year 2000, a writer from The Amanda Show filed a 
complaint about gender discrimination and a hostile work environment. They specifically mentioned Dan Schneider's frequent requests for massages. Although the details of the dispute were settled out of court, the exact resolution wasn't disclosed. Additional reports from Business Insider revealed how Schneider often included scenes with suggestive themes and encouraged female actors to wear revealing outfits. In 2018, Dan Schneider and Nickelodeon went their separate ways. However, Russell Hicks, who was in charge of Nickelodeon's content and production, defended both Schneider and the network's oversight. He claimed that every piece of Schneider's work was carefully reviewed and approved. The documentary series Quiet on Set features interviews with former child stars and crew members from Schneider's shows, giving new insights into their experiences. While much attention has been on Drake Bell's case involving Brian Peck, it's important to remember that Schneider also faced numerous complaints. Even fans of his shows noticed concerns about certain scenes and scripts. Schneider's legacy at Nickelodeon is significant, but it's been tainted by allegations of discrimination and improper behavior. These serious allegations are the focus of an upcoming investigation, and the documentary series, Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, which aims to explore the darker aspects of popular kids TV shows. Dan Schneider rose to fame in the 1990s with The Amanda Show, which introduced Amanda Bynes to audiences worldwide. His success continued into the 2000s with series like Zoe 101, iCarly, and Victorious. These shows not only became hugely popular, but also launched the careers of stars like Bynes and Ariana Grande. However, despite their success, the shine of these sitcoms has been tarnished by multiple allegations against Schneider for creating a negative environment on set. These accusations have greatly damaged the reputation of TV series that were once seen as emblematic of a generation. The foundation for the documentary series Wyatt on Set was laid by an investigation conducted by Business Insider's Kate Taylor. Published in August 2022, this investigation shed light on the alleged toxic atmosphere Schneider created, bringing these concerns to the forefront. In response to Business Insider's story and the news of the upcoming documentary, a representative for Dan Schneider stated that Schneider cared about the kids on his shows even when their own families did not. He understood the challenges they faced and was their biggest supporter. Many of the kids on these shows found themselves in the tough position of being the main breadwinners for their families, adding pressure to an already demanding job. The difficulties of growing up under the spotlight while working a demanding job as a child are immense. Despite the presence of executives, lawyers, teachers, and parents on every set, every day, it's still a challenging place to be a kid, and nobody understood that better than Dan. Beyond the insights provided by Kate Taylor's investigation, additional complaints and stories have emerged. Actors like Alexa Nicholas, known for her role on Zoe 101, described their experiences on set as traumatizing. Other crew members spoke of a stifling and controlling atmosphere. Daniela Monet, a star of Victoria, expressed concerns about inappropriate costume and overly suggestive content on the show. This reporting also highlighted Schneider's behavior, including his requests for massages from female staff, and revealed a gender discrimination and hostile work environment complaint filed against him in 2000. The most concerning revelation is the widespread impact of the actions attributed to Schneider, and, more specifically, Brian Peck, a topic that has recently gained attention on social media platforms. On the social media platform X, which used to be called Twitter, there's a video featuring a young Leonardo DiCaprio with Brian Peck. This video, from when DiCaprio was starting out in his career, has gotten a lot of attention from people who admire him. They're worried about how much influence Peck might have had on DiCaprio, especially after seeing the footage resurface. In the video, DiCaprio jokes around with Peck, saying they always make fun of each other. But things get uncomfortable when Peck starts talking about DiCaprio's appearance, calling him the latest, hottest teen. This has made many people rethink past events and start talking about what it's like for young actors in the entertainment industry. People are really concerned about the well-being of young talent, especially when they think about DiCaprio's early years in Hollywood. It's worrying to realize that there might be more victims like Drake Bell and Leonardo DiCaprio, and not just at Nickelodeon. Hopefully, documentaries and brave stories from people who've been affected will help make the industry safer and more trustworthy for everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.